Hi, I'm Lucky, and today I'm back to you guys again in King Legacy. Finally, I, it's been like, what, a month since I made my last video on King Legacy's big return to Roblox, big update, everything, all that jazz. And I made a, a fruit tier list a while ago, and I think it's about time I remake it, because some people really do not like the style of my tier list making. So, I decided to change it up with a little bit of the feedback. So, today I am going to be making the best best tier list <laughs> okay the best tier list for uh grinding and i'm also going to make a pvp tier list as well so i'll leave the timestamps probably down in the comment section i guess for the fruit tier list the completed fruit tier list for grinding and then the tier list for the um pvp because i also promise you guys that as well but before we get into the video be sure to leave a like subscribe if you guys haven't already rolled to 20,000 subs we're trying to say we hit 20k by the end of the year and uh, yeah let me just get right into the video also, you guys, you guys, you guys messing with the, you guys messing with the bar, bro, right? You guys messing with the bar, bro. That's absolute peak, by the way. Just want to point that out real quick. All right, so let me start with um fruits in terms of grinding. All right, so spin obviously down there. Bomb V1 obviously down there as well. Bomb Awakening is a solid B tier. Wolf. Some people have been telling me that Wolf is actually good for grinding, so I'm gonna take your guys' word on it. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend getting any these fruits. Paul absolutely sensational bro i checked the damage on paul paul averages like 100k every like rotation every rotation and if you guys don't know what a rotation is it's basically like when you use all the skills and fruit and then repeat it over and over that's what you call a rotation so every rotation paul does like massive amounts of damage so my bad on healing on that on uh, giraffe we don't really care about that barrier absolute dog water we don't speak about that either wolf also a pretty good fruit as well. I'm gonna put on C tier. I used it myself. I me personally I wouldn't glaze it too hard because um yeah it doesn't deserve to be glazed that hard. Um in terms of hmm in terms of grinding here, hmm, where do we see love awakening? Is the question. I don't really see love awakening any higher than B tier to be honest. Now hear me is a good PvP fruit. It's not specifically made for grinding though i can't lie it's not really a grinding fruit for true can't lie to you uh shadow down there in there smoke down there as well string string got a pretty good revert put it put that in c gum v1 <laughs> garbage sun garbage uh, leopard uh, leopard is kind of good so i put leopard over here as well i'll probably put sand no i keep sand on there as well buddha v1 <laughs> For sure, put it in the bottom of the tier, bro. <laughs> it's so terrible. It's actually a really bad fruit. I can't lie. It's actually a really bad fruit. Dark V1. Probably gonna put that at a mid tier just because it's a low gear type devil fruit. That is actually not too terrible when you use it. Dark Awakening for grinding. Probably A tier. And you guys are understand why I'm starting to rank fruits higher. Because you guys think that if I put five fruits in S tier. That means to only get those fruits. E tier is still good. B tier is still good. Even C tier is bearable. Just don't get D tier. <laughs> Just don't do D tier, bro. It's literally so bad. Uh, Venom V1 is horrible. But I think all V2 for Venom was actually really good. And Venom V2 right now isn't that bad. So I'm actually going to put it in B tier. Alright. And the order of how I have them in C tier doesn't mean that one is better than that. So it just means that all these fruits are kind of mid. You know what I mean? But still, you can use them. They aren't that terrible. Garbage. Gravity V1. People have been asking me why I put Gravity V1 in S tier. That is because, well, both of them below in S tier. Gravity V1 and Gravity uh, Awakening. That is because you have to use both V1 and V2. Gravity, I think, is the every move awaken except the V move for Gravity. For it to be like the best high damage fruit in the game. Or one of the best high damage fruits in the game. Uh, but yeah, essentially that's why I put this up here with the awakening as well. Uh, I could also just do this as well. Put the A tier. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do this actually. The A tier for V1 and then V2 up there. Um, control V1. Is that control? Why do I have two controls? No, I think this is quick. No, that's not quick. I, why do I have two controls? Oh, this is control V1. Ah, I see. Control V1, garbage. Actually terrible. Do not use Control V1, please. I beg of you. Do not use Control V1. Oh my God, it's not good. Uh, C tier. 
Um, Control probably could hold a C3 as well, but no. We're hating on it because it got a good V2. <laughs> um, Ice Ice is also pretty up there as well. Probably going to put that in B tier. And then Awaken Ice, S tier for grinding. Let's be real. It's really good for grinding. Magma V1, also another really good fruit for grinding. I'm actually going to put this in E tier. Uh, also a really good fruit for grinding as well. Magma V2 being another one of the high damaging fruits. One of the best and highest damaging fruits in the game. Uh, alongside uh, gravity and other big name fruits like flame as well flame v1 I still have paw above it. I can't lie. I still have paw above flame Flame v1 and I still have paw above Yeah, 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 that looks good uh, Flame awakening S tier absolutely nice for grinding beautiful uh, light V1, also another really good fruit for grinding as well, especially if you're free to play, really good fruit. You can fly with it, it does good damage, it's a really good fruit. And then obviously the Awakening is going to be an S tier. Alright, so you guys are already seeing some massive changes in terms of how lenient I am with putting certain fruits in S tier. Uh, gas, please don't get gas. Actually devs, please gas rework immediately. Please, <laughs> please right now, bro. Please, please, please. I want a rework right now. Snow V1, not bad at all. I'm actually going to put this in A tier as well. Uh, not a bad fruit for grinding. Uh, this is Rumble. Rumble, S tier, absolutely broken. That doesn't even need an awakening. Rumble is just so good. Quake as well. Quake as well. A tier, easy A tier. Easy S tier for grinding. Awakens. All the awakenings, easy S tier, bro. Whoa. For the better fruits <laughs> uh gold gold isn't bad b tier uh spirit <laughs> spirit is usable let me put it in c tier but <laughs> maybe real like the spirit was once this fall off of spirit is actually insane spirit was a legendary but it was the worst legendary oh my gosh it was the worst legendary it just got brought down to an epic for obvious reasons probably the awakening could be a better version of it who knows uh gee this is um Magnet. I forgot the name of the fruit. That's crazy. Magnet. Magnet isn't bad at all. I'm actually going to put that in here. Too. Magnet isn't bad for grinding. For grinding sake, not bad. Uh, Phoenix, also not a not too bad. I'm going to put that in S tier as well. Um, <coughs> it isn't too bad. Last time in mid tier, I'm more sure I had it done in B tier. The reason I'm going to put this so high up is because I think it did get a buff. I think it did get a buff. And I do see people using it a lot more in terms of pvp or whatever the case to be but like i said i'll probably do a pvp tier list later on in this video who knows if i don't do a pvp tier list i'll probably make a separate video who knows um gate a really good fruit for grinding as well i'm actually gonna have that above this but then again i tell you guys already i'm not it doesn't matter the 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 ranking of it it just matters that they're all s tier uh door v1 <sighs> b tier it's garbage Toy, a really good roll. <laughs> Toy, you see any fruit that has M1s that is a legendary? Yeah, let me specify that as a legendary because I'm more sure that the leopard and these have M1s. No. Toy, um, dragon, and I'm more sure there's one other fruit. No, it's one of those two fruits that are actually good to have M1s. Ah, oh, and Buddha Awakening. Those three fruits, you cannot go wrong. You genuinely cannot go wrong with it. Dragon, easy S tier. Uh, again, guys, please do not, please do not think that I'm ranking these in terms of which one is first. Please don't think I'm ranking it in terms of which one is first. I am just putting them in S tier as they come, please. All right, but I'm just gonna arrange this <laughs> for most of you guys in the comment section. I know you guys are gonna hate me if I don't arrange it. Uh, Do in terms of grinding, Do is actually really good as well. Do not mind Do. Do is actually really good. Snow Awakening, even. Uh, not even. Not as bad but also not as good as uh the awakening there can't lie to you but snow awakening is pretty good let's be real it's actually really good um telekinesis isn't bad is it nah, it is mid it is mid i'll give it a c tier why not buddha awakening Pfft. easy the damage reduction on buddha i'm not sure it has damage reduction it has healing no, I know for sure it has a healer. I'm not too sure if it has damage reduction. And then Awakening Control being one of the best fruits in the game. And then plus uh plus the um plus the law blade just
cut set up there to be honest in my opinion that is the grinding tier list right there for fruits i think this tier list though is more reasonable in terms of how much fruits are actually in s tier uh i changed the way how i rank as well so that's also another thing that kind of pushed this motive to um re-rank my previously updated tier list i'm going to update that tier list i made that tier list like a month ago but i actually sat down and used the fruits so that's why i kind of like changed up the tier list a little bit but yeah um be sure to take a little screenshot of that so you can put this in the thumbnail <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think this, I think that, I think that's going to be a lovely little thumbnail right there. I think a lot of you guys are actually going to agree with this tier list more than the previous one, I cannot lie. Anyways, though, guys, that is my opinion on the best fruits for grinding in King Legacy. Remember, it is solely my opinion, alright? If you guys would change anything in the tier list, let me know. Uh, please, please, please be reminded that the way how they are organized in S tier doesn't mean that one is better than the next. It just means that all of them are S tier, okay? <laughs> literally that's what it means but anyways guys if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like subscribe if you guys haven't already and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one good luck